Well, Andy, uh, again, not the result we were hoping for. We had a similar conversation last time as well about it. Yeah. Where are we up to as a, a club at the moment? No, I, think, I think for really, really pleased with the way we played first half, created a number of opportunities, made their goalkeeper work. Um, so, you know, really pleased with that. Um, second half, uh, you know, I just, I just thought a bit of sloppy kind of play that led to, to them getting a penalty. But, I mean, other than that, uh, again, you know, we've created opportunities with the crossbar. Possibly didn't make them work as much as what we did first half. But, you know, there's a lot of young boys there second half that are on trial that we're just having a look at um, and seeing where they're at. Um, and just a word on one player in particular, Lewis Gilboy in the first half. No, I'm not half, talking about him. <laughs> <laughs> no, Lewis, yeah. Yeah, he, he, did, he seemed to do very well. Yeah, and, and you know, um, he's someone now that this year we've said to him, you know, we need uh, an end product in your game. And, you know, we got that from him today. He got a number of crosses in, a couple of shots. Um, you know, and he's got pace to burn, so... We're more than happy with Lewis's contribution today, uh, but we expect him to be a big player for us this year. Now, he's had 22 players playing today, yeah. but there's even more in the squad. How competitive is it at the moment with amongst the... the yeah, well, that, that, that's what you want pre-season, and certainly when we're, you know, we've kept, I think, every single player that we had last season, and rightly so, because they worked hard for the shirts and, and know what the club's about, so that gives us a good foundation to be working from. But, you know, we, we, we're looking at a couple of other players as well to come in um, and, and add to what we've got. Um, might not always be the right um, decision to, you know, give them game time or, you know, it might be. You, you never know what you're going to get sometimes, but, you know, we, we, we're working on a certain style of play at times as well as uh, just uh, adjusting things here and there. And like I said, I thought um, overall, you know, we're pleased of, of, of the contribution of all the players today. You know, we, we came against an established side yeah. today, uh, as we did last time out as well. How difficult is it to embed the, the style of play you want from your side when you, you're still gelling this team together? Well, I think, I think it's always going to be tough for us because everyone wants to play against Berry and beat Berry. You know, fantastic turnout from the fans today. Um, and it's always going to be tough because it, they're going to be want to get in your face, trying to win the ball back as quick as they can. Um, and, and trying to put it on us a little bit. And I thought Chigo did that today. And, you know, Danny's doing a really good job here. They've got some real good players as well. Uh, ones that certainly, um, you know, some of them won't be out of place playing in our side either. So um, I, I think from our part, it's about getting the minutes in the legs for the players um, and, and getting that certain style of play of, you know, if teams are sitting in against us or if they're coming at us, um, being able to adapt whilst the game's going on. Um. You know, we, we, we've got a long way to go yet, I imagine. How far or how near are you to knowing what that starting eleven is going to be like in the first game of the season? Well, I, th I think, you know, you always, it's an old cliche, you know, all the shirts are up for grabs. Um, and that's what pre season's about. I don't want the players coming in thinking that, uh, oh, you know, this player's got that shirt or that player's got... Well, you're all getting opportunities. So every time you get an opportunity, take it and grab it and, and you know, try and grab the shirt and keep it. The players have talked about there being a pretty competitive spirit in the yeah. in the camp at the moment. You know, lots of players going for very few starting bursts. Yeah. Is there a danger of having too many players at this stage? Uh, I don't think so. I think as the weeks go on, you know, we'll start to to cut a few players down that, that may be in on trial and um, you know and so on basically. So we, we need we need bodies sometimes as well pre-season because we've had such a long layoff. We've got to build it up back in the right way and I think you know today was a good starter you know um, everybody getting 45 minutes we had a fantastic week of work and if anything it's been a real positive end uh, to this week because I think we've we've worked hard Monday we've worked, worked hard Thursday and, and you know there's a, a lot of good work going on there today and we had another trialist goalkeeper today Mike Emery I, I went away and asked him his name because yeah. he might not give me yeah. his name um, we know Ed, Ed will be suspended yeah. for the first game of the yeah. season back where, whereabouts are we on the goalkeeper situation at the moment well uh, you know we've agreed with Mike that he'll be he'll be joining us which is a, a positive I thought he did very very well today I thought he came and um, you know commanded his box very well, thought his distribution was very good as well. Um, you know, so again, we, we need that competition in those places. And Squires Gates next game now, uh, any plans for that one? Any any ideas where you want to go with that? Is it just about minutes at this point? Yeah, I, I, listen, pre-season it is, that, that's what it's about. You know, we've, we've structured it so that the players are getting minutes in certain games and, and you know, certainly that's what it will be again. Um, 
you know, for, for fans, for players, for everybody. It's, it's about getting back out, you know, um, socialising for the fans and, and getting behind the team. And also for the players, um, you know, making sure that they're working hard for the football shirt and, and putting in a performance. But for me, I don't think anyone can go away from here and, and say that the players haven't worked hard today or, you know, created chances or give opportunities for the fans to get behind them. And, um, you know, that's what it's about uh, come 31st of July. Uh, and finally, you know, uh, you're coming away quite pleased with this. What, what's the biggest take home message you can take from this game today? Well, I, th I think, you know, we've, uh, as a football club, we're back out, um, you know, uh, playing games again. I think from a, from a playing side, um, you know, we're wanting to play a certain way and, and we've seen that um, in certain periods. So the biggest take home is that, you know, still a lot more work to do. Um, but lots of positive signs, definitely. Really, well, thanks for that, Andy.